Hi, my name is Teresa Russell. I'm up here in um, the newest restaurant on the Royal Caribbean largest ship, the Wonder of the Seas. This is the Mason Jar. It's a real Southern comfort style restaurant. And I think maybe they might use some of that in their drinks here. And I'm with Alex Palmieri. And Alex, what do you do? I'm the lead of beverage operations for the fleet. And how did you conceptualize the drinks that are found in Mason Jar? We had such a great time with this. We really just wanted to, we went back to the basics and went to some classic cocktails, but then put our own spin on it, right? To make it unique and different. So when you walk into the Mason Jar, you have a cocktail and you, it's memorable from the second you take a, your first sip to when you leave. Okay. Is there a common denominator that you'd find in the drinks? A, a feeling you want to evoke with guests or a certain ingredient or yeah, what's well, your end goal? Sure. So being, you know, Southern classics, we put a lot of bourbon and a lot of moonshine into this. So that's the really common denominator into a lot of the cocktails. Um, but then also some lighter style. We really want to make them fresh and new. Uh, so if you're a heavy bourbon drinker, you, there's some great cocktails for you. But if you're not so sure, they're light and easy and refreshing to drink. And what would you recommend if you're a heavy bourbon drinker? Far from Manhattan. Far That's from a very Manhattan. classic Manhattan, but we make it with brown sugar bourbon. So again, it puts it on a bit of a unique twist. Okay. And when you develop these, how long did it take you to develop something until you felt it was perfect and that the guests would really love it? So in this circumstance, it took us about two months from start to finish, which is very, very different than what we typically would do. Um, but with a lot of these cocktails, we we were done in about two or three tries and other times you know you make one you put a little bit of this and that a little bit of that and you change it up a little bit um we had a lot of fun but overall it took us about two months and is two months longer or shorter Sh than usual? much shorter <laughs> much shorter and do you recommend do you recommend that people pair certain cocktails with certain of the dishes that are served in mason jar? So the beauty of the, the way we created the cocktails is it's best with any of our dishes, right? Because everyone's palate is different. Everyone likes something different. So it's, if you want to have the chicken and waffles, you can pair that with really any of our cocktails. That's kind of the way we created it. So you get that whole food and beverage experience regardless of what, what meal or, or cocktail you're having. And what else happens up here in the mason jar? Well, we have the entertainment, which the band plays, the bartenders get into it, everyone has a good time while they're ha having one of their cocktails. Mm -hmm. So that, that's always fun. Okay. And do you offer, you know, you have like martini tastings and wine tastings, are there, are there any tasting, like bourbon tastings or any kind of tastings offered up here? No, not yet. Not yet. So definitely something is we're looking at plans? though. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> what is the most popular drink? You know, one of the ones that's been getting a lot of follows and what's trending is the peanut butter and jelly of fashion. And it's what is in that? It's made with screwball, which is a peanut butter whiskey, which is a very new product that's been um, very popular. Uh, mixed with buffalo trace bourbon, some strawberry jam, and black walnut bitters mixed with um, stirred up. And then the garnish is two crustless PB&J sandwiches, which again makes that whole unique experience just all come together. And is that crunchy or creamy peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> it's creamy peanut butter. <laughs> okay. What kind of jelly do you use? A strawberry. Is strawberry? It goes okay. well with the strawberry jam okay. that's in the cocktail. And of all the drinks that you conceptualized, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite? They're all my favorite. I spent a, <laughs> there's eight great cocktails and the, the, the beauty of it is there's something for everybody, right? Like I mentioned earlier. So if you like something more sweet or more, um, more heavy, there's something for everybody. And that's really the way we try to create all of our menus that doesn't matter what you like, there's something for you on the menu. And do you think you'll take this concept to maybe the icon? And that, you probably we'll can't see. say. We'll, we'll see, see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you so much. It looks Absolutely. like the ideal job. How does one get such a job? What you know, was the process for you? I, w I was a bartender. Okay. So I was okay, a bartender so you're for right there. eight years, um, mixed and drinks. I still get back there from time to time. Um, but yeah, I was a bartender, worked my way up. Oddly enough, I have a degree in PR. Um, and now I am have Doing one of the this. coolest jobs in the world. And drinking is probably better than writing copy. It has its perks. Yeah. It's very obvious that all of the drinks here are infused with lots of love. Be sure you come up to Mason Jar the Bar, which is open in the evening, and try a drink. Stop. So there are eight drinks that have been developed, and there are also milkshakes if you want something a little more decadent, maybe probably with more calories, but you know, it's a cruise. <laughs> and right now we are trying the peanut butter old-fashioned. Yep. And? The Mississippi Moonlight.
And what's in the Mississippi moonlight? Uh, Old Smoky Blackberry Moonshine, some freshly muddled blackberries, and lemonade. Mm, that sounds really <laughs> refreshing. Very refreshing. Cheers. Cheers.